In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a texture or pattern to a cylindrical product in Adobe Photoshop. So this is a really simple process and it's really effective and it's used for design mock-ups of products, things like that. So I'm going to walk you through the process. So the first thing you want to do is come down to the bottom here where these three little dots are. And if you click and hold, you'll see you've got all these options here. So what we want to select is the rectangular tool. You just want to simply click and drag over the area that you're going to fill. And let's just push that up a little bit higher. There we go. So at the minute I've got the fill color as red, so you can just click up there and it will come up as red. It just helps you visualize where the pattern is going to be. Once you've done that, then just come over to your layers panel up here, select enter just to enter that and we want to convert this to a smart object so right click and then come down to convert to smart object now i'm just going to lower the opacity to around 50 percent just so i can see underneath and help me get a better fit so we want to press Control or command t to transform the product so you can see there there is the transform box right click and then let's select warp then if you come to the top up here where these little cog is click on that Select always show guides that just gives you these lines so you can place it better and then where it says warp come down and select cylinder. So now what we can do is just drag this around so you'll see here you've got the, the top and the bottom option and then if we push this up and down and this middle one changes the perspective. So let's just try and line this up as best we can so I need to push this up a little higher and just line it up. So let's just go in a little bit closer just so we can see what we're doing. And there we go. So that's as, as lined up as I think as we're going to get it. So let's just tweak that bit there. So the other thing you can see here that is that there is a distortion happening with this line here. So let's right click and let's select perspective. And now we can just change the perspective of this a little bit. So just bring this line in. There we go. And let's just bring this one out a little bit there and just bring this up there we go so let's press enter to that so we can get an idea of how it's going to look so I think that's that's pretty good so what we want to do now is just come over to this smart object thumbnail double click on that and you'll see you just get this red fill so this is the fill that we done in the beginning if yours is a different color it's absolutely fine so what we want to do now is come to file and then we want to select place embedded and you want to find your texture, your pattern, whatever it is you've got. I'm just selecting this one for now and I'm going to just drag this up so it fits and just press enter to that. Then I'm going to come to file and then save and what that will do is save this onto that selection we've just made so you can see there it is there. So we come to the opacity now and just bring it up to 100%. You can see there is the pattern. So now what we want to do is we want to change the blend mode. So come to the blend mode here and let's select linear burn. And now what we want to do is just change some of the blending options. So right click and then select blending options. And then down here where you've got current layer and underlying layer, you want to hold the alt or option key down, click on the white triangle and it will separate that triangle then. And this will start to bring back some of the underlying layer there. So we can do the same on the black side, push that up there, depending on your pattern. Let's come to the current layer, and then I'm gonna push this up. You may not have to do this, but I'm just, I want to get rid of that black that is in there because I want it just to be a white pattern. And then we can do the same on the white up here. We can click, and this is actually gonna bring back that shine in the middle you can see there so there's always a tipping point of which this helps or hinders so I think about there it's good so let's select okay to that and you can see there that is the finished article so it's a really really simple process so let's quickly go through that again I'm going to add it to the top so again we come to the rectangle tool we're going to click and drag over the area that we want to adjust then right click, convert to smart object, 
Control Command T to transform, right click and then select warp. And then we need to remember to come back to the top here, select cylinder and make sure that always show guide is selected. That's really gonna help us with this task. So let's just bring the opacity down to 50% so we can see what we're doing and zoom in a little bit. And let's just pull this up. And you just wanna take your time with this, just get everything lined up. So let's just adjust the top there. And again, we've got a little bit of um, perspective issue going on because it's laying down we've got almost some uh, converging verticals there so we just need to really take our time with this and tweak it so let's right click change perspective just pull that out a little bit pull the top in a little bit and just pull that out at the top there there we go come back over to the thumbnail double click and then go to file place embedded Select your texture and make sure it just fits the box. And then go to File, Save, and back over to our image. And then we're going to right click, Blending Options, and then come down to the bottom here and press the Alt or Option key. And we're going to push that up. Same with the underlying layer here. Just want to bring some of that sheen back and do the same at the top here. So I'm just holding the Alt key down all the time. So that there looks good. Maybe just bring that back in a little bit. Just pull some of that shine in as well. That's it, select OK. And then just come to the blending option. And select linear burn. That looks pretty good. So that's how you do it. So you can use whatever texture you want. If you want to go and change the texture you can, you can just double click, come back and add another texture here file save and it will automatically save it so once you've made the selection you can then go through as many different patterns textures whatever it is you you want to do and it will show up there so that's how you do it i hope you've enjoyed that i look forward to seeing your images take care and i'll catch you in the next video